Alrighty, my West Coast dancers, my name is Nori Alonso and I am a dance professor here on YouTube. Just remember that today is number three out of three. Um, so for today's episode, we're going to be just combining the things that we've learned so far. I'm not going to add anything because a lot of people have a tough time with the uh, the West Coast swing, especially since it's slightly different from the other styles of swing that we've done so far. Um, understanding again, this is a slot um, versus a spot dance, um, or at least the way I've been told and the way I've been, uh, the way I kind of categorize it in my head, um, it's more synonymous with uh, salsa and the fact that it goes back and forth and you can change, you can rotate, but it relatively stays uh, back and forth because it has that, uh, what's it, Newton's law thingy, okay? <laughs> Um, so having said that, we're just going to be dancing uh, a combination today. It's just going to be a basic into a pass, basic into a pass, and then to keep on repeating until you get sick of it. Um, we are going to be going into a little bit of a different uh, tempo. So it's going to be a little bit slower. So for those of you who are not used to counting your music, this will get you to realize that, oh man, some, some music can be slow. So having said that, let's dance something slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, my dancers. We are starting off with a sugar push as the leader into our pass. It's our left side pass. Going into another basic right before we go into a right side pass or an underarm pass. Don't forget to stylize it. <laughs> Again, going for a basic into a, sh um, to a pass. And then from that pass into another basic, straight into a right side pass or the underarm pass. Ba, ba, ba. Right here, I changed my wall in order for you to see the hind view going into the pass, letting you know that uh, my imaginary partner, my perfect partner, is doing exactly what I wanted her to do. Mm, 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 mm. And even though I'm getting funky still, I come back to my imaginary partner, who is doing absolutely everything correctly, whereas I am the goofball and the center of attention. <laughs> Here, we're gonna go into our follower's footwork. The follower's footwork is just going back and forth from our pass to our sugar push into an underarm turn. Now, what I find most helpful in um, being a leader or a follower is that I play out what I would feel from my lead or from my follow. So as you see during my passes, you can see that I'm trying to use my um, right hand as the follow to feel out the connection or feel out the pull that I would normally feel during any turn. So see how I grab my own forearm there? That's what I'm trying to do, and that's what I'm trying to um, show you guys, is that you, in using that, it helps um, me understand the lead for that particular step. So when I'm preparing to be a leader again, um, I make sure to give that signal to my follow, or at least be there for a follow that's usually used to taking the lead anyway. And just as a wee reminder, always feel it out, dance it, and try and put you into this, uh, into whatever pattern you get come across. All right? Hopefully you guys had fun. All righty, dancers. Um, today was the end of our West Coast Swing series. It's really just to give you a basic idea of what West Coast Swing is and to get you to kind of be familiar with the dance, uh, the dance style and the music that is associated with West Coast Swing dancing. Now there are many more, like it's a very, it's, it's a, it's a continually evolving type dance. So with relatively new dances, I mean, stuff that's sprouted out in the last 50 years, um, they are constantly finding, the, trying to find their home. So the tastes can evolve from what it is, but traditionally uh, West Coast Swing derives itself from blues. Um, and even then, blues dancing is its own thing, but it's as closely associated with it because it's it's a little bit more freeform. And from what I've from what I've uh, researched and what I've seen online, 
is that there is a lot of expression in these dances. And this is what ultimately all of us dancers try and do. We try and find somewhere that we feel like we can express ourselves. And I find for myself is that we're all looking in smaller, narrow niches um, to express ourselves. Where, um, whereas some people just like everything at its base level, kind of like me, um, and can immediately see where people have taken it. And then from there, make your own decision on what type of dance style speaks more to you in your interests at that particular moment in time. For me, I'm in my first decade of dancing. So my interests are kind of everywhere, but I will know, I know that I will probably narrow down somewhere. But for at the moment, I kind of like everything. And in that, I wanted to share all my knowledge and I want to share my love of dance with you guys. So thank you again for watching this video. And if you liked anything, or if you broke a sweat, um, <laughs> please leave a like, share and comment and share with somebody that desperately needs some dance knowledge. I'll see you later.